Hello everybody, this is Steve from Brothers and Beer Podcast and uh, I'm going to review another beer today. This, uh, I guess you guys know we're doing our YouTube series. <laughs> so, but anyways, this is Ballast Point. I don't know if you can see that, Ballast Point. Uh, this is their Grapefruit Sculpin IPA. And from what I can tell, this is out. Of, this is a brewery out of California. And uh, it looks like most of their, uh, most of their, beers have some kind of ocean theme or something that's pretty cool artwork on the bottle i've been seeing these uh in like Wal walmart and stuff so i figured i would try one of these i'm not most ipas already taste real citrusy to me this one is um this is our award-winning ipa with a citrus twist a grapefruit sculpin is the latest take on our signature ipa some may say there are a few ways to improve on Sculpin's unique flavor, but the tart freshness of grapefruit perfectly complements our IPA's citrusy hop character. Grapefruit's uh, winter fruit, but uh, this is easy drinking ale, taste, uh, tastes like summer. It's 7% alcohol and 70 IBUs, so that's kind of high. I think it's going to be bitter. And uh, this is available all year round. So this beer's won four awards, it says. I'm not sure. Um, about that, but <laughs> every, it seems like every beer we drink is an award-winning beer. It's fucking, well, they just give out awards like candy. It's not Easter. Anyways, I'm going to pour the <laughs> fucking, I'm not in a bad mood, I promise. I'm in a good fucking mood, believe me. This is my Devil Mountain glass. Can see that Devil Mountain? Uh, you know what? I have a problem. I keep looking at this fucking screen. I need to be looking at the lens so I can talk to you guys instead of talking to myself. But I'll figure it out. I'm just I'm new to this stuff. All right, so let's pour this. I don't know why all see this right here. All the labels were like that. I couldn't. They're not. They don't have any sticky stuff on them. Every single one of them, like it's a. I don't know what the fuck that is. That's weird. But anyways. Ooh, it looks juicy. 70 IBUs. If I'd have known that, I might not have bought this beer. That's a little... That's a little much for me. It smells pretty citrusy. Almost like a lemon. <laughs> we say that all the time, lemon pledge. This is obviously grapefruit pledge this time. <laughs> you guys ready for Christmas? I think I'm ready. I got family coming over. Hopefully I can get my place... Look decent for him. But anyways, I want to talk to you guys about a couple things. Let me take a drink of this. Oh god. Oh my god, that's IPA. Oh it's just so it's like drinking a grapefruit juice with alcohol. If you like grapefruit you might like this beer. I'm going to have to choke it down on the other hand. I'm not, I'm going to have to just, ugh. okay, I'm like this. All right, so everybody has those friends that um, go fishing. Or you get, everybody knows guys that, that have said they've been fishing. And everybody, every guy talks about, I got a fish. It was this big, man. It was this fucking big, you know. And um, they never have it or have pictures of it or whatever. And then the next guy, when he's talking, is like, oh, well, I caught two on the same fucking lure. They were both this big, big, big mouth bass, small mouth bass. Just, well, I was in a, I'm a truck driver, as you guys know. And uh, I was at a truck stop the other day over by the, um, the iron skillet. <laughs> <laughs> people are getting their breakfast and I listened to a couple truck drivers talk and I come to I figured this out you know you have fish tails well truck drivers have something called boob tails every truck driver has has had a woman pull up next to him on the highway and flash her titties every one of them I'm sitting there listening to these guys one guy's like uh, yeah man you should have seen him she's hanging out of the passenger window she pulls her top up and this nice perfect blah blah you know and I'm like well, listening to these guys and I'm thinking the whole time I've never I've been driving for almost 18 years I've never seen road boobies ever and then the next guy the guy he's talking to is like oh that ain't nothing man I had a girl fly past me she's hanging out the passenger side she's 
got big old double D's hanging out, just flapping in the wind. They pull over on the highway. They switch drivers and catch up to me again. And the other girl who was driving the first time now, she's got her shaking. I'm sort of thinking, is this, is this real? I don't believe it. I've never seen road boobies. I started thinking this is exactly like my friends. Talk about how big the fish they caught. I caught a huge bass, man. It was that thing took me a half hour to get in. I'm struggling, fighting with it. I'm like, well, where's it at? You got pictures? Oh, man, it got off right at the last second. Road boobies. <laughs> I've never seen them. Well, what I'm saying, it's Christmas time, ladies. And I'm not, I'm not saying you, you know what? I think there would be a lot less road rage on the road. Just. Look, we're out there, we're working hard. We work all day. I'm on the road 560 miles a day I drive every single day. It would be nice. Just, just, I mean, maybe we wouldn't be so angry on the road out there if you guys would just help us out a little bit. Show us some road boobies. It's not hashtag me too because you would be doing it voluntarily. I'm like, I'm not making you do it. Just asking for a little, a little road love. This is a... Uh, not a, I wouldn't buy this beer again. Unfortunately, I had to buy the whole six pack, so now I got five more of them I got to try to kill. I'm thinking Kenny might actually love this beer. But anyways, guys, uh, we'll be doing, uh, Kenny will be doing his video tomorrow, and then uh, we're doing our, our, our last podcast before Christmas. We'll be doing it um, this weekend. It'll be out next, it'll be actually out Christmas Day. Oh no, Christmas Eve, so you probably won't listen to it until afterwards, but that's alright. But well, I just want you to know, we really appreciate you guys listening. Uh, just comment below if you want to see some road boobies. We all want to see road boobies. Uh, actually, I can't, I gotta take that back. One year, we were coming back on fishing from the fishing trip with my buddies, uh, Mike Murray, Tom Murray, Rick, and we were in the back of this van, and there were some girls. We had a video camera. It was a, That's how long ago it was. We had big, that one you held on your shoulder looked like a big fucking TV camera. And, uh, there was a girl next to us. The, the guys got her to flash her boobies. But I don't think that's the same thing as flashing for a truck driver because we were, there was a camera. And I think that makes a big difference. Like if I was to hold out a camera out of the window, maybe, maybe they would flash me road boobies. <laughs> Brothers and Bear, Brothers and Beer podcast needs road boobies. Subscribe, like, comment. Thank you guys. Merry Christmas, everyone. Brothers and Beer.